Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. In today's video, this is what we'll be making. And this is what we'll be using. All right, let's begin. All right, so this is definitely an unplanned video. I had something completely different in mind for today. However, I woke up very sick this morning, so that's gonna have to be postponed. And I still want to make a little video. So here I am, I'm gonna use these. My kids are happy that I opened this box of chocolates. We've had it since Christmas, so it's probably about time. And I have an idea in mind to make. I've had this idea for a while. I want to make some tags and I want to use these, uh, this packaging and this noisy stuff. Maybe even some bubble wrap, whatever, we'll see. So I'm going to start with this one because it just looks fun. And I want to make a tag. I'm going to use some off cuts. So let's say I want to make a tag using this piece of paper. And uh, because this is going to be a special noisy tag, I want to make it substantial. I want to make it quite a big tag. All right, I trimmed it down and I wanted to have a little bit of this thing happening up here. So I'm going to now cut, cut that into a tag shape. So I've never done this before. So I'm just going with the flow here. And I imagine that this first piece that I'm cutting down is obviously going to be the tag. Like this, this is the shape. But I need to sandwich that bubble or mailer, let's call it, even though it's not. I need to sandwich this in between this and something else in the back because, you know, what's the point of that on the back? We can't write on it, can't write on this. So what I'm going to do is grab another piece of paper. Here we go, some tea dyed stuff, but I'm not gonna trim this down. I'm simply going to trim it down later. So I'm making a little sandwich here and I'm gonna glue this on this and then this on this. Okay, let's go for it. I'm just going to trim this down first all right, let's go in with some glue. I'm gluing this on this. Press down. And now I'm going to glue this piece on top of this piece. But first I'm going to ink the edges. All right, perfect. And now glue that on. You know, sometimes you might think when you're watching videos like this, especially if you watch way too many, if you become oversaturated with stuff and if you're not feeling well, like me at the moment. When you see stuff like this, you might be thinking to yourself, what is the point of all this ridiculousness? I mean, I find it quite satisfying, like this whole business of this noisy uh, stuff. So I do find it satisfying, but sometimes I think like, why would you do this when the tag, this piece on its own already had a white surface at the back. So really there's no, like why, why, <laughs> you know, I don't know where I'm going with this, but if you do get sometimes feelings like that, know that they will go away and then they'll probably come back, but you'll be creating regardless of having those feelings. You're going to stay creative. All right. Anyway, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine, even though it, it did glue on, like I was worried that it's not going to hold because it's kind of plastic, but it did. But I'm going to sew around anyway. I just want to see what happens and if it's if it is even gonna make any noise once it's done. All right, so that's all sewn around. And while I was sewing, I had a bit of a ponder, and I think I know the point I was trying to make. There's this book called "Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway," and basically, that's what I'm. That's the point I'm trying to make. If you're having those feelings of what's the point and you're feeling oversaturated with ideas and you're feeling like every video is exactly the same and i don't mean my videos in particular i mean videos that you watch to do with junk journaling and you start feeling like Ugh, they're all the same and what's the point of doing all of this the point is have those feelings but keep creating anyway which is exactly what i'm doing at the moment I didn't even need to sew around that because that did glue on pretty well, but here it is. 
it doesn't make as much noise as this thing on its own, which is a little bit disappointing, but it is padded, like it feels soft like a pillow. So that's quite fun. I think what I should have done is left a margin of this visible on the outside, and then that would still make the noise. So I wanna see now if I can make something a little bit different with this piece, maybe not a tag, but I'm thinking like a pouch. So I really wanna keep this the noise, I suppose, because I like it. So I'm gonna go in with my pinking shears and cut all around. I'm gonna grab one of these pocket sleeves and it's not perfect, it's quite damaged, so I'm gonna damage it some more. Pop it in there. And again, I'm gonna sew all the way around. And here we go. Ooh, I'm liking this one a lot better. And now I'm just going to, again, grab my pinking shears and follow the cuts I've made previously and just cut all the way around and here we go so that's quite fun it's going to be quite noisy but we created a pocket at the front and a pocket at the back and surprisingly I like this side better because it's more fun but we can always pop something in there well I'm going to because it's a pocket I'm going to go into my folder of, of cuts and I'm going to get out all of the papers that seem to go with the theme that's obviously happening and I'm going to make like a themed little pack of stuff. That's what I'm gonna make today. Mm. All right, here's what I have. Okay, what else can we make? We have the tag, we have the pocket, and of course we also have this, and you know where I'm gonna go with this now, don't you? Where do you think I'm gonna go with this? Hmm. Okay, I only wanna use one layer, so I'm gonna cut it open. All right, here's what I have, just one layer of the bubble wrap, mailer, whatever it's called, bubble mailer. And now I need to think, that's what I need to do. Hmm, I'm really feeling the pressure now because I don't actually have any ideas. I wanna stay raw, like I don't wanna cover this whole thing and make it look pretty. I want it to stay, you know, I want it to be a junk journal. So I'm not going for perfection or pretty, but I still wanna do something. All right, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim this down. I'll get another one of these pockets and I'm just going to open it on one side. Actually, on two sides, top and, I mean, side and bottom. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but here we go. We have this and now I'm going to pop that in there. Okay, but before I use this, I'm going to finish the cover. So I'm going to glue that on top. Actually, it's probably better to use double-sided tape on this. All right, here we go, double-sided tape applied, and now I'm going to pop it on top here, maybe add some more stuff. Yep, we'll do this piece. Maybe add some washi tape. That's not really fabulous, is it? Maybe I'll do some stamping. That's not really great either. So now I'm just gonna keep going until I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna go in with a watercolor pencil just around the edges. And finally, I think that looks a little bit better now. Maybe go in with a little bit of water. All right, that's enough fiddling. I'm gonna leave it as, the, as it is now. And now I'm going to pop this on top and hope for the best, but the plan is to sew all around. I don't know why, that's really unnecessary. I just, I'm stuck on that idea now. And that's what I'm going to do. And it might ruin it or it might not. There's only one way to find out. I'm about to do the sewing, but I just want to show you how I prepared it for sewing. I just flipped, because I feel like it's gonna move too much. I'm just gonna have these extra pieces of, of plastic on the inside, which I will, I think, cut off but I'm basically wrapping the edge with the plastic. And now I'm gonna go to my sewing machine and I'll just sew this section first and then I'll sew the back. So it's not gonna be all in one go. All right, here's the front. That's all sewn on, looking pretty good. And now what I'm gonna do at the back is I'll start up here, sew all the way around, and then I'm gonna pop these in because why not? That's what I'm gonna do. Once I pop them in, then I'm gonna sew the top shut. And here we go. And now to sew it shut. And here it is. I don't mind it. 
I don't mind it at all. All right, I've just got to trim the bottom and top off. Might even do zigzag. In all honesty, I thought this is going to be a complete fail, but I actually really like how this, I, I like the whole sensory experience of this project. I really love it. And this is a journal. And look at this, unplanned little pockets here. So of course, I'm going to stick with the theme, make some tags. Okay, tags are prepared. That can go there. And do I have a pocket here? Yes, I do. Oh, perfect. And now all I have to do is bind a signature to make this into a journal. And here we have it. The journal is bound. And I have to say, this took a bit of an unexpected turn. I didn't plan any of this, obviously, as you know. And I really didn't think that it's going to turn out anything nice or special. And I actually... <gasps> I really love what came out of this session today. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I'm glad I gave it a try. All right, so here's what I have. And the last thing I want to do is just make it a little bit more fun. So add more fun stuff to the back of this one. Maybe another little something to the front. And why stop there? Hmm. I feel like this needs a little something more. So yes, definitely. That looks much better. And in it goes beautiful it's all matching very nicely and now i wonder if i need something on top of this one here what do we think okay i'm definitely gonna leave it here as it is and then we can do something like this oh what a miserable bow get a grip let's go okay that's a bit better and then to finish it off and there we go a cute little gift for someone really didn't go in the direction that i planned but i actually love the end result and you know what i felt absolutely miserable before i started filming and now i feel much better still sick but definitely much better so I hope you enjoyed this little craft with me sesh. I hope you feel inspired. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.